Okay, we're in now chapter 10 in the assess. What I want to do is do a few questions, probably take two videos to do it. This is question seven, grade B rated. So here we go. Here's an example that AQA says is grade B. It's only Pythagoras in two dimensions, but it's using Pythagoras to go further and work out something else. So they've upped it to grade B. So here's a grade B question, even though we talk about Pythag in 2D. And straight away, we're told no information other than read it yourself and do it. Work out the perimeter of this quadrilateral. Oh, I've got it. Right, okay. So 9 plus 6 plus 7 plus, ooh, dear, can't do it. I don't know DC or CD even. So I've got to work it out, haven't I? Right, what have I got here? Look very carefully. I've got myself two right-angled triangles. Now, if I've got two right-angled triangles and two lengths that I don't know, I can calculate what I need. Now look, if I use the 6 there and the 9 there, and this is clearly a right angle, let's just make it obvious, then I can work out the hypotenuse BD. If I know the hypotenuse BD and this length here, which is 7 centimeters, I can work out the shorter side DC. Once I know DC, I can add on my 7 and my 6 and my 9, etc. So there you go, Pythagoras in, three, in two dimensions being rated at grade B by AQA. So first of all, let's just work out B to D. So let's just give it something, call it X, and we'll call this one Y for later on. It doesn't matter what you call it. So here I go, X squared is going to be nine squared plus six squared. Uh, we're looking at 81 plus 36. Grab your calculator quickly. We've got 117. Now we're gonna square root that to get the length DB. Go to one decimal place, I think. Uh, root it. Bam. Um, maybe two. Round it off later. 10.82. Uh, 10.81665. Okay, fine. So 10.82. So that's where x is. So let's write it in. 10.82. So I've got my hypotenuse as 10.82. I've got my smaller side 7, which is BC. I can work out y quite easily. So here I go. I've got 10.82 squared is 7 squared plus mystery y squared. Well, I know that 10.82 squared had been rounded off, actually. So originally it was 117, wasn't it? And 7 squared is 49, and y squared is, I don't know yet. Take the 49 over and subtract. So y squared is going to be 117 take away 49. Just get that quickly. 117 minus the 49. That gives me 68. Definitely not a square number. So y is going to be the root of 68, which is, I'll let you know in a second. Yep, 8.24, 8.25 to two decimal places. So 8.25, I'm happy to round it like that. Um, centimeters, so what's the perimeter? Well, just write it into the story. And of course, in an exam, you can do that. You can put in lengths as you find them. Um, just in case you miss something out, it's best to do that. So here's the perimeter then. I'll do it up here, I think. There's loads of space here. Write out the numbers. I've got my 9, I've got my 6, I've got my 7, and I've got my 8.25. Grab your calculator and get all your marks and move on. So 9 plus 6 plus 7 plus 8.25. Bam, I've got 30.25. That is my perimeter. Please give me a grade B straight away, and that'll do for now. All right, so that's that one. Perimeter, distance around the edge of the shape. Done. Now, pick up another one. This is question 8. Uh, I'm giving it as a grade A question. Here's what it says. It says, work out the length of the longest straight rod that could fit into a cube of side 6 centimeters. Now, they didn't draw me a cube. Now, in an exam, you'll be given um, what you need. Usually, a picture will be given to you. So, I've got a cube of 6. Now, this is a crude picture, very crude indeed. And uh, I'm going to try the best job do the best job I can to work out the longest side I can fit inside the rod. Now, look, rather the longest rod I can get inside this to fit inside the cube. Now, all these are sixes, all right? So six for you, six height, and six going into the screen there. Now, the longest rod I can fit will either be from here down to the bottom here, or here down to the bottom here, or here down to the bottom here. Either way, the maths will be the same. I at least want to get that little bit straightened out, all right? So, if I use... Will yellow come out all right? Just try it. So if I go from there to there, oh, it's awful. No, let's use a blue or something. 
if I go from there to there, that's the length I'm trying to work out. So yeah, at the back on the right, front on the left. So is that all right? So I need to work out that blue thing there, so which means I need to work out this as well. Remember? So if I know both, if I know that across there, and know this is already six, I'm going to get it right straight away. So just putting what I know in red. So that's also six. So I've got six heights. The blue bit I don't know yet, but I know it's the hypotenuse based upon the six by six square base. So let's just go and do it. Let's just call this x or something. So here I go. Um, x is going to be six squared plus six squared. Then you just square root it. It's the small one squared plus the other small one squared. Yes, I know they're the same, but it's six squared and six squared. So you're looking at the square root of two thirty sixes, um, seventy two, and here's your answer. Root seventy two is going to be eight point four eight five. Let's just call that 8.49 for now. All right, so I know x is 8.49. So I've got my, my new base of 8.49, and the height of 6 will get me the longest side here. And uh, let's just call that y or something. So here's my y, my blue bit. So y squared is going to be my 8.49 squared plus my 6 squared. That's my height at the back. Um, press the square root button in a minute. Now we know this 8.49 has been rounded off, haven't you? It was 72, so it's going to be 72, that's what the square of that is, plus 36, that gives me 108, and now we simply have to square root the 108. So you're looking for an answer about 10-ish, aren't we? So root 108 is 10.39, let's call that 10.4. So you're looking at 10.4 centimetres, the longest rod that I can fit into a cube of side six centimeters. Now I want to do part B, but I've just introduced another page there. Let's go back and just get the information. It's the same exact same thing. This time I'm playing with the cuboid. So I do this and then have a little pause. So I've got 12 by 10 by 8. I just try and draw that in a nice sort of way. So 12. 10, that's the front bit, oops, and it goes 8 in. This is quite horrid, isn't it? Anyway, um, try and draw this like so, join the ends. This is just really rough. And it's quite a nice box though, so 12, so get my dimensions, um, 10 along, or 10 into the, into the screen, and 8 at the back. So all these vertical ones are 8, um, these ones here are 10s, and the big ones there R12. So that's what I need. Essentially, exactly the same thing. Just grab that. I want to go from there all the way to there. Okay, the top right and come to the the front left. That's the longest thing I can find. So that's what I want. But if I then do this, I need to find out this hypotenuse first using the 12 and the 10. It's really, really easy. Just like using the cube, really. No different. So let's just call this X. We'll call this one. Y, that's ultimately what I want, the Y. But anyway, X is going to be the two small lengths squared. And that's a right angle triangle. Of course, that's a right angle triangle as well. And then we're going to square root them. So 144 plus 100, 244, about to be square rooted. So ask the machine what that is. Root 244 gives us 15.62 centimeters or meters, what's it in anyway, let's just check again, centimeters it is, alright. So I've got that length there, and that's 15.62 cm's. So I've got my new base there of 15.62, I've got my height of 8, I can work out the new hypotenuse, um, the length y, which represents the biggest rod that can possibly fit from corner to corner within the box of those dimensions. So again, it's another hypotenuse, so it's dead easy. So y equals the square root of um, 15.62 squared plus my 8 squared. And of course, this was 244, wasn't it? So I've got 244 plus 64. Don't forget, we're going to square root that. Doing it in one or two steps. So 244 plus 64 gives me 38. And of course, I'm going to square root that. So y is going to be the biggest rod possible, square root button, 17.55, so 
17.55 centimeters is the biggest rod I can fit within a box that goes 12 by 10 by 8. You wouldn't think that, would you? But that's true, that's what Pythagoras says, and he was a good bloke, he got his maths right. So I'm going to stop there and uh, maybe look at a couple more questions. Um, that's it, see you quite soon.